just want to tell you that you are very valuable and you are very unique and that's the one thing I want to tell you find your true value and, and actually heal your broken heart find back to who you truly are Hi, my name is Tore, Tore Johannesen. I'm a Norwegian uh, and I'm coming from Norway, uh, but I'm actually working in Northern Thailand and also in Myanmar uh, towards uh, a people group called the Shan people. I'm, uh, and I'm also married to, to a Shan uh, lady. And we want to share the good news. We want to share the good news for the Shan people. Uh, and we also want to share the good news for those who have a broken heart. So I have a website called Good News for Broken Hearts. Good News for Broken Hearts dot com. And and well, some of us that vision is to really to to help those who have a broken heart. And to restore those who have a broken heart, because I believe there is many many people who have experienced that. And I'm working amongst a people group who have experienced that a lot. Uh, and I, uh, you know, I believe none of us have gone through life without experience some kind of rejection in some ways or another, or we experience fear, fear, fear of the rejection, mental wounds, and so on. Some people may may might have uh, managed to handle them in a better way than others, and some might be good at hiding them too, or suppressing them in a way than others, while other people they are left paralyzed in many ways of fear and guilt and shame and, and a condemnation and so on. And I, I met so many people who are who have experienced this, they experience shame, they experience guilt, they experience our broken life, they experience a lot of rejection, and um, many bad things came comes out of that. Many bad behaviors becomes because we have fears, because we have experienced ex a rejection, uh, we have a lot of envy can comes from that uh, and a lot of even sickness. I was sick for him for 10 years because of a broken heart But God healed me. He restored my heart and as he also restored me physically uh, So I got healed When my broken heart got healed, I was got, got healed physically too. I had problems with dizziness with uh, Food allergies. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't sleep well in the night. I had dizziness and headaches and all, all many different things but today I can say that I'm healed because God healed my broken heart. And Jesus he said that he came to heal the brokenhearted. And Jesus said in Luke 4.18, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim the good news for the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim uh, deliverance for the, for the captives and new sight for the, for the blind, to set, liberty, to set at liberty those who have been crushed. He came to set free those who have been bound or been crushed. And some translations say this differently. In Matthew eleven twenty eight, it says, Come to me all who labor and have uh, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God wants to give you rest if you're struggling. Uh, Psalm 143, 47, 3 says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So God wants to heal you. He wants to bind up your wounds. Uh, I am not a uh, psychologist, but I'm a, a, a teacher of the Bible, I'm a Bible teacher uh, who has some experience in this topic, but I believe with all of my heart that the message that Jesus had and the Bible has uh, is the solution and healing for all pains, for all things that we have in our life, even physically, uh, like sickness and things like that. Jesus is the answer and I, and I know it sounds, sounds like a cliche and I heard this thing and I even preached this to myself and I, I kind of didn't feel it was true sometimes but I said this that Jesus is the way you know he's the, he's the answer for the world today <laughs> and and it's kind of a Christian cliche in many ways it, it kind of feels like it sometimes but for me it's not a cliche anymore it's true Jesus is the answer if you don't really understand who you are and as I said, this is, this is not a cliché for me, cliché, it's a, it's a truth, it is truly a truth for me. I believe this with all of my heart, that Jesus is the answer. If you truly see who God is and who you truly are, 
it will heal your broken heart and it will it's the solution for all things in your lives even physically it is the solution it is a healing for the whole body <laughs> the bible even tells us that the word of god is a healing for the whole body and your mind too it, it will give you a sound mind if you understand the truth um, in, the, in the bible it will give you a sound mind god has not given you a spirit of fear but, a, but a, a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. To have a sound mind, to have a mind that is sound. And the gospel means good news. But unfortunately, many people have not be, been presented, presented with the good news. They have often been presented with a religion or a perverted image of God. That often brings bring condemnation or or uh, condemns people and gives you rules and, and, and gives you rules that you feel that you cannot reach up to. And this have often the opposite effect of healing your heart. It leads to more heavier burdens and more striving. It leads to more oppression. It leads to more uh, condemnation and it leads to more broken hearts. If you try to follow the law and think that God is pleased with you, if you are managed to follow the law, if you, if you think that God is pleased with you, if your behavior, when your behavior comes perfect in every ways, you need to see the truth about who you are right now. And that's the thing you need to see. And, and there's two things I want you to see through this teaching. One thing is that you need to discover who truly God is. That God is not looking at you to try, try to find fault with you, with, as many, many people do. They, they, they think that God is, is a, a person who tries to find fault with you, looking at you and, and try to find what you are doing wrong. But God is not looking at you and trying to find, find out what's wrong with you. He's actually looking at you with love. And He's looking at you the way He created you. You were created in His image. You look like Him. In many ways you are like Him. Not in your behavior always, because you have been programmed in a wrong way. Your programming <laughs> up here is not, is not totally good. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with the way God created you. And that's the thing you need to discover. That's the second thing you need to discover. You need to discover who you truly are. Who God created you to be. But sometimes you also have been presented for this view that, that you are either just a sinner and you are, you are sinful, you are ugly, you, you are, you, there's nothing good about you at all, or you are that you are half sinner, half holy, that part of you are holy and part of you are not holy, that that's your identity. I'm talking about identity now. I'm not talking about behavior. I'm talking about identity. What is your true identity? And you know God is pleased with you. He is pleased be, be, with you because you are his son, you are his daughter, you are valuable. And he created you that way. You, you are created in his image. Because you are created in his image, he also looks at you that way. And that's why he's pleased with you. He's not pleased with your behavior, I don't say that. But he's pleased with you as an identity, as a person, he is pleased with you. And that's what you need to, 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 to see. And the Christian life is actually about discovery. I truly believe healing and restoration to restore the broken hearts and human lives is, just, is a discovery of these two, these two important truths. Truth. Who God is and who you truly are. This, discover that God is love. And discover that what it means that you are created in the image of God and that you are his son, you are his daughter. And the life together with God, that is the Christian life, is a journey of discovery about who God is and who you truly are. And it's not a struggle and it's not a heavy burden, but it's a joy and a rest. If you really, you really see it, if you really truly see it, you see it's a joy and it's a rest. And if you care, carry heavy burdens, or feel that you are struggling to meet demands, or feel that you are depressed and condemned for all maybe sins you have done, you still have a journey in front of you. A 
and a, a journey of discovery. You have a, just a journey to walk, and you're not on this journey alone either, because God is there, right beside you, right now. He's there right now to help you, to help you, to guide you, to, to, to with this discovery, the, the journey of discovery, he's, he's there right beside you, and he wants to, you to discover who he truly is. Jesus has set you free from all burdens, but you need to discover the truth about the freedom you already have. You have it already. God has made everything finished. When Jesus said it was finished, it was finished. It was done. Everything was done. The only thing you need to do is believe and trust. It's about trust. Trust in what, you, what, what the Bible says is truth and discover what is the truth and trust in it. Trust it. If you need to see the truth, but you also need to trust the truth. Many people see the truth, but they don't trust it. You need to trust it too, and that will heal your heart. And freedom begins when you see how much you are loved. It will, uh, and, and not only that, will, but when you see how much God loves you, you will start to love yourself, and you also will start to love other people, and you will, you will help other people to be, be free. And that's what I'm doing right now for you. Because I have seen this love, because I have been free, I will tell this to other people and I want to help and set other people free. And I do not believe that you are a dualistic person, like a, a Mr. Jekyll and Hyde Christian kind of thing, and that you are both evil and, and good at the same time. Some Christians teach this, that, uh, that you, when you become a Christian, yes, you become a new creation, you become new. You get a new nature on the inside of you, and then you become a new creation. But you also have the old creation on the inside of you. It's another person there. There's another identity there, and you need to try to oppress that uh, that part of you. You need to try to get this old side of you down so it doesn't pop up. You know, you need to keep it in in, in check. You need, you need you need to do that. And if you if you believe that you are actually putting yourself under law. Because that's what, what, what the law was for. It was to keep that bad side of us in, in check. But the truth about you is you are not that. You are not both evil and good at the same time. Actually, God created you perfect, first of all. But you're also his son, his daughter. And you became a new creation when you believed in him. You also became a new creation. And this is available for all of those who believe. You became a whole new creation. I don't believe you have your two identities. And I, I still also believe there is something called sin. And I believe that's a reality and it's a power. But sin, it's very, this is very important. Sin is not you. And it's not a part of your identity. It, it can have formed your identity. It can have programmed you in many ways. And it can have made, try to make you in his image. Sin try to tries to make you in his image. The devil tries to make you in his image. But you are not the devil or you are not sin. But uh, you can look at it, look like it sometimes. But, but it's not your, your true identity. It's not who you truly are. And it's not the true identity of man either. Because God did not create the people in the image of sin. He created you in His image, which was, which was absolutely perfectly. And that is the picture God wants you to be restored back to. You know, there are two types of sons and daughters. There's the one who is lost, and there's one who has found their way back home. And the people, many of the people who have found their way back home, they need to renew their mind about who they are too. But the people who are lost, they don't know who they are at all. They are still, they're, they're still created by God. The God is still their father. In, they may be cho chosen the devil as their father, but, but the true father is God. God is the true father. Your true fa everybody's true father. Because you were not created in the image of sin. You were created in the image of God. And you are his son, his daughter. And all people, in, in a sense, they are. But they're not, they not able to call themselves it before, be, before you receive Jesus. You have the right to call yourself the Son of God and Daughter of God when you become a Christian. But all of us, who, who, all, of, all people, 
the original father or original father is God it's not the devil or sin I just wanted to say that I don't mean misunderstand me here but but I just wanted to say that and God did God come to this world because he loved the world he didn't come to punish this world but it comes because because he loved the people in this world he loved you that's why he came and he wanted you to discover who you truly are and find back back to your creator back to who you truly are he wants to restore you God wants to restore you back into the image that you were created to be he wants to restore you and through Jesus to knowing Jesus you will know the Father through Jesus you will know the Father the one who created you and and you will you will be become you will be restored back to who you truly are Colossians 3 10 says and I put on a new man who is renewed in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him so you need to have knowledge renewed your mind and be renewed in knowledge of who you truly are the image that you have created in in you need to, to have knowledge about it, the, the image you are created in and that's the thing I want to tell you and that's the thing I believe that will heal your broken heart is when you find out who you truly are who you were created to be I believe that that will heal your broken heart so this is the good news for broken hearts so find my website on goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com and I will teach more this is the this is the core thing of what I'm, I'm really want to teach you about and I have a lot more I want to teach you but I don't have time today so come back to goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com and and, and, and yeah and, and, and spread this teaching to other people share this teaching with other people too share the website share the, it on Facebook share this video uh, wherever you want <laughs> uh, and, and get this message out because I believe uh, in healing the broken heart I believe that people can be restored and I believe in a God who loves each one, each one of us and he loves you and remember this when God looks at you he says that you are my beloved son you are my beloved daughter in whom I am well pleased that is what God wants to, to, to say you to say to you he's not as I said he's not pleased with everything you do but he's pleased with you that's the thing I want to share with you okay God bless you.